I want to go back to a story which directly involves you and Ivana Bacic because if Enda Kenny has his way, you bo- may both <laughs> lose uh, your positions. Because out of the blue, last night, Enda Kenny said that if he comes into government within a year, he will have a constitutional referendum to abolish the Shannon in the first year of a government led by his party. He's also saying that he will reduce the number of TDs in the Dáil to be reduced by at least 20 as part of the same constitutional change. It says here on the front page of the Sunday Business Post, and the Post seems to have been the only one uh, of the newspapers today that really got that story on its front page, that... um, this came as a surprise to the other Fine Gael, uh, members, not least members of, this, of the Shannon like yourself. Well, the timing is the uh, leader's prerogative on a, on a decision like this. And uh, Enda decided that really he wanted to uh, go for radical reform. If we're going to look for radical reform in uh, the health service executive, if we're going to look for radical reform um, in the way we run our public services, um, we felt that you have to start um, in the political system, which has come into so much disrepute and that we want radical reform in the political system, um, which would uh, mean uh, that we would have one house uh, like most European countries, that we would radically reform the doll, uh, reduce the numbers and introduce a list system as well. Yes. And he also reminded everyone there last night that several months ago, I think it was back in April, the three members that we have on the commission in the Dáil uh, were instructed uh, to go to that commission by the parliamentary party and look for a fully vouched system of expenses. Um, and we are publishing further details on reform of the political system um, over the coming weeks. So it is radical reform. It's very radical. It's very radical but it's also saying if you want people uh, to change, and a lot of change is needed in the country. I've quoted the example of the health service executive, yes. you know, of, uh, of the... Um, uh, of, of how we run our health system. If you want to change, um, that we start with ourselves and we start with getting our own house in order and we stop the waste and we um, we have a more streamlined and effective doll. There's been, Ivana will probably remember how many reports there's been on Senate reform, none of which have been um, implemented over 13, the years. 13, 13, to date. Okay. 13 to date. But just getting back to uh, what he's actually saying is scrapping the entire Senate. I mean, well, getting you, rid of the whole Well, you see, what, what you have to do is he's saying, actually, at the end of the day, this is going to be a decision for the people. You have to put it in a referendum. I know, but what he's saying now is, in fact, he doesn't believe there is any need for the Shannon to begin with. I mean, this isn't just like reducing the numbers and getting them to do something more well, constructive than what they're doing now. It's actually getting rid of the shadow itself. Yes, what he's saying is going forward, we should have a more streamlined uh, political democracy. And but what he's saying by default is that actually there's no need for a Shannon. It's, it, it's absolutely a he's saying it should. It, yeah. He's saying that the reform of our democracy and our political system means that you'd have one house. That would be a reformed doll. The two go hand in hand. Yes. You don't do away with the Senate and leave the doll as it is. You reform the doll as well and you go for a list system, a combination of our current system and a list system. And you reduce the numbers, uh, which has been recommended by many people. And so, you know, th- this is a this is if we want to ask other people to change, let's look to ourselves and say, how do we run a more efficient uh, uh, parliamentary democracy and make it more responsive and more streamlined, more effective? And what about the our very complex voting system, the PRS TV system? That's also been blamed for having an awful lot of cronyism in politics, for making TDs uh, having to do local constituency work, which takes them away from the national priorities. Is he? also talking about changing that if he's talking about introducing a list system he's talking about uh, partly bringing in a list system but not going for, uh, not changing the, that system but just partly changing it which will require you know c- considerable detailed work and discussion as to what you you can change the number of TDs without legislation provided you stay within certain parameters um, Ivana Bacic, you are a Labour Senator, of course, or sorry, an independent Senator for Trinity College. A Labour Senator now, and <laughs> having run for Labour. Having in the run for Labour. So. Um, how, what, what do you make of all of this, Ivana? Well, my first reaction when I heard the news last night, and I may not have been quite as surprised as Francis, but I was certainly surprised. But it, you know, it struck me as a somewhat desperate act, I have to say. I mean, it, it reminded me immediately of that other radical or redundant party that many years ago made, a, made big headlines when it also called for uh, abolition of the Shannon. That was the PDs, of course, and when they got into government, that was quietly dropped. So I think... Did they know, call for complete er- I, I, eradication of the Shannon? At they? one point, right. it was part of the PD's own policy. It was part of their own policy was to, to abolish the Shannon. So I think it's an easy headline, you know, and certainly at this time when everybody does want to see reform and everyone wants to, and, and we need to, uh, to see uh, changes in public finances, then of course it's a populist claim call to make. But I must say I would, I would hesitate about it. I think 
personally that you know there comes a point where you say well opposition is too expensive it would be a lot cheaper if we just reduced all the we took out, took out all the opposition TDs what do they do and we forget of course that the purpose of opposition is to provide for an alternative government but and you can a, have the opposition in though in, in the doll itself you don't necessarily need to have them you in don't, the Senate no there are plenty of, of systems Francis is right of course that are unicameral that are just of one house but our system is built on the two house model clearly the Shannon needs reform I've only been in there two years and I can see that and I think it's very apparent to everyone and all of us in there I think would like to see it reformed I would personally like to see it made much more democratic in the way it's elected there have been a large number of reports the most recent of which um, actually got cross party consensus on changing the way the Shannon was elected to make it into a more of a list based system giving the Shannon more specific functions for example scrutiny of European directives and so on and I think there's a lot of merit in that kind of re um, reform but do you think there's a need for the uh, at the moment for for Shannon for senators like yourself there's a lot about the Shannon that should be changed and there's a lot that's indefensible about procedures in both houses but I think that there is a merit in having an upper house that can scrutinise legislation in more detail and what I've seen is that the Shannon's at its best when we're looking at legislation at committee stage and in, unlike the Dáil, we have a, we, any of us can go in and speak and put in amendments and that's a huge strength in an, up, in an upper house and it's something that you don't have you really couldn't do, I, I couldn't see how you could do it even in a reformed Dáil because there simply isn't the time in a lower house that's dealing with much more um, much more perhaps the day-to-day -day running of the country, holding ministers to account more directly and so on. So I think there is merit in having an upper house that can give that sort of scrutiny to legislation, but absolutely it, it does need reform. Um, Pat Leahy here, writing on the front page of Sunday Business Post about that particular story, says Fine Gael's proposal to abolish the Senate and cut the number of TDs would represent the most radical reform of the political system since the 1937 Constitution was enacted, and it would also reduce the powers of patronage of the Taoiseach significantly. Uh, Francis Fitzgerald, just back to you, he also says that he's going to introduce, as you said, a, a partial list system, but he wants to include a system that would bring a limited number of people with particular expertise gained outside of politics. This, of course, has been mooted many times, but we don't have the electoral system to enable smart people, perhaps from business uh, areas, to come in and engage in our political system, as they do in other countries, of yes. course. I suppose the Senate is often seen as a place where you know that can happen if it's done properly through the uh, Taoiseach's nominees, and you know whether it's through uh, some of the. Uh, other um, senators who get elected via the universities or whatever. But I mean, the idea that uh, Enda is suggesting is that the list system would open up politics. Um, that's you know. a good idea. I think, I think that's it a is very, interesting. Very smart I mean, idea. It, it, uh, that it would open it up. It would give you another mechanism yes. um, that, that people could be nominated uh, and to And they come may in. serve for just a period of time. They may not be exactly. full time politicians, yes. but they could come with, an, uh, with yes. a certain expertise yes. for a limited I mean, period. That's perhaps. right. And I, I mean, I think it's a courageous decision uh, uh, by end uh, to recommend this. I mean, it's not the easiest thing. Obviously, change is very difficult. And, you know, for people within the political system, uh, we're all used to the Senate, we're all used to uh, an there's an opportunity. Headline. I mean, Francis, I know you have but to. It's not, it's, it's, not, it's not just an easy headline, headline in the sense that, in fact, it's quite courageous to suggest it. I mean, to look at your own system and to say, we need to reduce the numbers, we need to change the patronage, we need to change the way things are done. I mean, that isn't easy. That isn't an easy headline for a political leader to, to say to his own colleagues. Well, it does undermine a large part of his parliamentary party if he's suggesting that the Senate, Fine Gael senators are redundant or should be redundant. No, but well, that's I, I what he is saying. Yeah, no, that's, but what, that's effectively yes, but, what he is saying. But the way, yeah. you, the way you have to look at that is that you say, we have the systems as they operate at the moment. We work, Ivana and I work in a, in a Senate that needs to be reformed. She admits that. I admit that. I think you do, does. Yes, you do the best you can within the system as it operates at the moment, but that doesn't say that you don't go for reform of it at a future date. But he's, as he's I said saying. earlier, he's not just reforming it, he's getting rid of yes, it completely. Yes, that's, yeah. that's my point in terms but of... But I want to just, you know, if you get rid of the Shannon and you reduce the number of TDs in the Dáil, are you then kind of leaving yourself short that you're going way over the top completely and you're perhaps having less political representatives than we may need? That's, that's a, a question that will have to be debated. And at the end of the day, it is uh, the people who will decide in a referendum. If you uh, put the referendum Well, this is the, the cop-out, of course, is that he's actually going to put it to the people so the chances of, of people accepting that are probably limited do you let's so. not forget yeah, well I would have thought so but maybe I'm wrong in the past, I think people want to see reform well in the past that people voted against reform of the PRSTV system